no problem. Now, session wizard. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna just glance at it. We're not gonna go deep into it. What session wizard is mainly for, <coughs> excuse me, is it gives you the capability of adding prompts and instructions to the session. For instance, the Lens software from Oaks Labs throughout their session will prompt people to do different things. Move the electrode here. You know, five seconds later, it prompts it again. Do this, do that. That's all done in the session wizard. That's what this was built for, okay? However, same thing with the Mini-Q2. As you start your session, and let's say you record for the first minute, at a minute, a little prompt box will pop up and it'll have instructions on it. Change switch position to number two for Mini-Q. You know, verify signal's good. Then it, you click OK, and it goes into the second grouping for, or the second recording group. Then, with the end of that minute, another prompt box pops up and says, turn to switch position three. Well, those are designed from here, okay? Available, available template files. These are different examples of Mini-Q files that were built, and if you like highlight one and you go view template, okay? You can go in there, and it's, it's, all, it's a very simplistic programming language, but somebody that's willing to go and do this can go ahead and write their own prompts. For instance, the message one, set switch position, you know, one, FZCZ, sites, blah, 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 period, 60 seconds. And then the next message comes up. So you can write your own little scripts, and what this is good for, and we're not going to really talk about it, it's more of an advanced technique, is hot switching the protocol. Do one protocol for five minutes, do the, another protocol for three minutes, do a different protocol for five minutes. Some people do that kind of stuff not really part of this kind of weekend, but the capability in the software is there. Okay? So you don't have to be scared of the button, but more than likely you're not probably going to play with that button. Does it pause the session? Yeah. At 60 seconds, it pauses, prompts the box, tells you to do the next thing, and it doesn't start till you hit OK. All right? So we hit OK. Any questions there? Any additional questions on data channels? We're ready to move on.